loves things. Loves I'm Juliana Cooper. I'm a freshman. <laughs> I'm Julie Ren. I'm a sophomore. And we're from Mercy. We love you! I've noticed some trends in my history book recently. One being the hundreds of chapters about women that end in almost. Almost as numerous as the times men ended their stories with no. And yet they can't seem to find the meaning of that word no matter how loud we scream it. Men, men have, have been, been shoving, shoving the word no down, down women's throats throat since the beginning, beginning of time. time. 5th century BCE, Artemisia of Caria, queen and war commander, died fighting for her empire. But the men who wrote her story said she can't be remembered as a noble, no, a noble war hero who died killing men for her people. So instead, they wrote she died blinded by love at the hands of a man who broke her heart and her neck. 1430, Joan of Arc gave up everything for her country and God, only to be put on trial by the men who she did better than they could doing their job better than they could. I wonder if they heard her screams of no over the crackling of the fire. 1913, Harriet Tubman rescued thousands of lives from slavery, but was still told that she was not important enough to be honored on our money alone, but needed a man by her side, even if that man owned 300 of the lives she was trying to save. 1917, Alice Paul recognized the amazing ideas of women and fought to give them a voice. When her protests were met with brutal police force, she was forced into rat-infested jail cells, beaten, and when she began hunger strikes, her yells of no were stifled by the feeding tube they shoved down her throat. 1922. Elizabeth Cotran wrote hard-hitting news full of truths, but under a false name of Nellie Bly. A name from a song because publishers told her no matter how good her stories were, no one would read them if they knew it was a she behind the pen. 1960. Thirteen female pilots went through excruciating tri tests to become the first people to land on the moon. Some of their scores were exceeding those of the men who took their places, but they were told no by the President of the United States because if he allowed women in space, he would have to let the minorities in too. Men turn their nose into knives, fists, guns. guns. 2012, 15-year-old Malala Yousafzai was shot. fighting for her right to knowledge and education when a man stopped, stopped her on her way to school and used three bullets stabbed. shot into her temple to say no, no, stabbed. no, women didn't deserve to learn to read, shot. to write. 2016, Hillary Clinton was running for president of the United States. I could say that a man beat her. The men told her no over and over again on the ballot. But the truth is, there are more women over the age of 18 than men. Our fists could almost touch the glass ceiling, but we forgot how to jump. The men would have had to say yes, but we lost our voice. They let us go, and we forgot how to walk. But when, when there's, there's another female candidate, candidate all the girls who grow up and become able to vote will be the girls who grow up seeing women's marches and movements. The girls who grew up seeing their aunts fighting for a safer world to work, to learn, to live in. Grew up seeing their teachers fighting for equal, equal opportunity. opportunity. Watching their moms fight, fight to close all the gaps. And, and we, we will, will be ready to leap to, to run. We, we will, will be ready, ready to rule the world. world.